Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to check in with you by video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these video updates, but I thought this is important um, to do this and a good opportunity to, to clarify a couple things for us all. Uh, number one, a number of you received these flyers or these information sheets on your cars on Sunday. And I've had people dropping them off saying, what is this about? This was not from us here at the church, from anybody at the church. This must be from someone who is local. I've asked a few other pastors. They did not have them in their parking lots, but have received similar things in the past, they say. And as well, we have too. I, I recognize this type of information that's been on our cars disseminated in the past. Uh, it's not from us. It seems to be from someone who is very concerned uh, about worldwide council of churches, specific organizations banding together. There seems to be a, really, uh, a real sincerity of faith and belief behind it. I would say it's uh, perhaps a bit misguided, and what would be the term? Um, uh, a little bit uh, fearful, anxiety producing. The main core, the thrust of this is that uh, this person wants everyone to leave their churches um, because every church is corrupt and that there can only be a simple faith in Jesus that must be done all by themselves. And so I'm, if you see, <clears throat> uh, I would encourage all of us, if we see the person who is leaving these on our, on our cars to, um, to lovingly uh, meet them. I'm looking forward, hopefully one day, to meeting the person who's leaving these on our vehicles and getting to know them. Because I feel they must be very lonely and not able to trust anyone from any faith background. And yet they, they really seek, seem to love Jesus. So, uh, my boy, I would love to show them an authentic faith that I know that you all have in Jesus that is not wrapped up in any conspiracy theory, not wrapped up in any global movement, but that is a sincere faith in Jesus. And that's what I would hope that we would all show them, whoever this person is, when we see them next time. And I assume they will, once again. Maybe they live nearby us, and that's why we get these more than other churches. That if they are leaving them again, uh, please get to know them. Their name, invite them in here for coffee or, or to meet them for coffee or lunch. Uh, they, I, don't, I don't assume that they would be up for that necessarily, knowing what they are writing in here and the fearfulness, but maybe perhaps we could show them a different side of faith. Uh, perhaps they've been re really hurt in the past by their faith, I don't know. So anyway, so that's these. A couple other things I just wanna mention and clarify that we have the Gleaners coming up. They would love our help throughout this week or next week, but next Saturday, November 2nd, is when we are planning on going out. The plant the, where they do it, they have the, obviously they have the furniture shop here in town, which you can support them by going to that as well. But the plant where they do the, um, preparation food processing is out in Lavington and it's a little bit tricky to get to so if you haven't been there before either feel free to ask us for directions or look it up if you're a, a maps person online or we could uh, happily meet you here at the church Saturday morning and take you out there so consider that if you want to join us for next Saturday November 2nd now before that next Thursday night all Hallows' Eve, otherwise known as Halloween. We are going to be having a, a fire pit and some hot chocolate out here on our lawn. And this is a really wonderful opportunity for us to greet our neighbors as they walk by. One of the only opportunities, really, that we have where we can authentically interact with them, just uh, 
give them hospitality. So many of them are walking by our church and we can offer the warmth of Christ in hot chocolate and a candy bag, maybe some caramel apples, a fire pit to warm up at, maybe a little movie on a screen, we'll see. So if you have some ideas or want to be a part of that, either set up in the early part of the evening or come a little bit later and, and help us with a bit of the later part of the evening, we're probably gonna go from setting up at three to tearing down by eight. So if you want to be early part or later part of either of those and being a part of connecting with our neighborhood, we'd invite that. Otherwise, we'd encourage you, if you have kids coming by, to be a blessing in your neighborhood to them just with uh, some nice, some simple candy and a, a warm smile. Maybe a Jesus loves you as as they head down, head out. Uh, but I don't. we don't encourage giving out tracts or information like that, but just the warmth of Jesus as people come by to be a good neighbor. All right, so I think that's that's it as an update from me. Love you all and I uh, want to continue on together in the love of Christ. Cheers. <laughs>